having the opportunity to talk to all of you today about a topic that is extremely important and near dear to my heart. When we started Tonomous and we talked about how do you build an organization and a company that's fundamentally trying to do something that no one has done before, it starts with the talent, it starts with the people. And especially when we think about the principles, we think about being bold and being courageous, being able to run towards those difficult problems. And I'd like to start this talk today with an inspiration that I saw at COP27, and it came from the foreign minister of Tuvalu. He gave a speech about his nation of islands in water. Water was rising up to his legs, almost up to his chest, and he gave this inspiring speech, and he said, do you fundamentally understand that we have no choice but to become the world's first digital nation? Our land, our ocean, our culture are the most precious assets of our people. And to keep them safe from harm, they have to create a virtual place. In other words, they have to turn to the metaverse. And when we think about the metaverse autonomous, it's much more than simply a gaming platform. It represents an unstoppable way for humanity to move, to learn, to connect, for us ultimately to be more human. So, what is the metaverse? Lots of conversations about it. What is it not? Well, if you're part of the Bradley household, you're very fortunate because we do have a resident expert. He calls me Uncle Jojo because he can't exactly say Joseph yet, my seven-year-old nephew, Malcolm. And if you ask Malcolm, in Malcolm's world, the metaverse is really, really cool, Uncle Jojo. It's all about gaming, right? His ability to interact with his friends and be able to experience life, as Malcolm would say it. But then there's also the second part of the metaverse, the social metaverse, where we in this room get a chance to interact and try to drive and improve productivity. So social metaverse. But then there's also the industrial verse, as we call it. This is all about digital twins and being able to model the physical world into the digital world. But here's the thing. All three of those examples actually promote what we call the false dichotomy. You see, lots of debate around the metaverse that simply says, do you want to live in the physical world or do you want to live in the virtual world? See, we autonomous, we don't see it that way. We don't think you're going to live physically and we don't think you're going to live virtually. We simply think you are just going to live. That's what it ultimately is about. And so what are some of the things and ways in which when you think about the metaverse, the core definition for us is very, very simple. The metaverse is a link between the physical and the digital worlds that allows you to create a seamless and unified experience. In other words, it's both physical and both virtual. And what can it do for you? Why are we spending all this time talking and engaging around the metaverse? Well, first, biomedical research. When you think about biomedical research, 92% of the information associated with biomedical research can be used. But imagine all of a sudden if you had a room that one of our partners has, which is engaging, it's connected, it's censored, so all that data can be used, and now you can access that via the metaverse, physical and virtual. Now all of a sudden we can leverage 92% information. Urban construction, $177 billion lost alone in the US, alone in the US, having to do with lost supply chains, not know where materials are, redesigning, or finally talent, Teleportation. 64% of workers said, if you force me to go back into the office, I'm going to leave. That's still the number. Again, wrong question. It's not about working in the office. It's not about working outside the office. 
It's about working, getting it done. And so autonomous, we have taken five core areas of focus when it comes to the metaverse. Education, construction, tourism, government, enterprise. We have a whole solution set focused on driving solutions and co-creating with you around these five. Let's take a little bit deeper dive. Think about the metaverse for education. It's about immersive skills. It's about the ability to connect and personalize education. Why is it so important? Because 90% of what a learner learns is lost in a week. 90% we can address that. If you think about metaverse for construction, you think about the ability to create digital twins. The metaverse can save up to 67% of our cost structure. Metavism for tourism, borderless traveling, the ability for you to be able to teleport yourself into an environment. Here's the thing, amazing stat. For those people that either experience or see a virtual representation of what they are buying or where they are going, if they receive or they experience a virtual representation of that item, they are 130% more likely to purchase. Or you think about metaverse for government, citizen experiences, streamlined services, 90% of services that are existing today within a government can be put into the metaverse. When we think about enterprise, and you think about where we're going with being able to fully virtualize and model that enterprise and education, 68% of workers said if they had a choice, they would rather work in the virtual world than the physical world. Again, here's the take on this. It's a false choice. It's not physical, it's not virtual, it's enabling both environments. And when you think about what we're doing here at Autonomous, we're investing, we're taking action. Whether it's targeting the next billion dollar idea through Autonomous Ventures, investing in this area to really drive innovation within the Saudi um, ecosystem and the GCC ecosystem, or whether we're talking ultimately about the AI infrastructure, as you heard with Fabio Fontana, our partnership with Autonomous, Oracle, and NVIDIA to really drive and boost AI adoption across the kingdom. Or whether we're talking about our partnership with our great uh, channel partner, Tech Mahindra, in delivering next generation tech and to shape the cities of the future. All of these things are coming together to ultimately turn the dream of the metaverse into a reality. Man, I wish it was that easy. I wish that was all that we had to do. I wish that all we had to do was worry about the technology and building the tech. But unfortunately, there is a storm that is brewing. And this storm that is brewing is not one about technology. And this is where I need your help. This storm that is brewing is about leadership. Open the news, open any journal. What do you see we as a people are focusing on? We as a people, meaning we as people on the planet Earth. We are far too focused on our differences, far too focused on what makes us different, whether that's skin color, ideology. In order for us to move ahead, it took a visionary. It took a crown prince being able to say, that we can fundamentally shift the art of the possible. There's something very, very special happening in the eye of the storm in Neom and Tonimus with 140 different nationalities putting differences aside to work fundamentally together and to understand that success is not about what makes us different. It is about what makes us similar. What is that eye of the storm that allows us to keep focusing to make these technologies and everything we're talking about today for real, for truth? It's a responsibility 
to simply imagine and deliver a better world. That is what we need to carry on. The technology is great. The will is great. But we have to focus on this. And here's the thing. It's not for us. Autonomous is a company like any other company here. We have to drive profits. Of course we do. But that's just like saying the purpose of life is not for you to breathe air. No, it's required for you to exist. Of course, autonomous is going to make profits. It's required to exist. But that's not our purpose. We are doing this not for us, but for them. That is why. That is the purpose of why we're here. And when you think about all the things that are happening, think about chat GPT, you're missing the innovation. Everyone is talking about what chat GPT is producing, what it's doing. You're missing the innovation. We are now living in a world where all the answers are known. That means value is an understanding what question to ask. The innovation around ChatGPT is in the AI. You should be impressed with the innovation, with the questions that are being asked. That is where the value is. And so when you take all this energy that you're getting from this conference and you get really, really excited and you get pumped up and you go out and you worry about how do you bring the metaverse and how do we solve fundamental problems that all these speakers are talking about and talking to you today. I need you to remember one thing. When that wall of reality hits you and you leave this conference, when that wall of reality of procurement, when that wall of reality of consisting infrastructure, when that wall of reality of no, you can't get it done, when that wall of reality hits you, I need for you not to worry about what you don't know. But I need you and you and you and you to take this energy and take this conference and remember to wake up each and every day and fundamentally challenge what you believe to be true. Be a change maker. Thank you guys.